The National Ignition Facility is the world's largest laser. It's now operational, and in this chamber behind me here, we're going to recreate a star here on Earth. The basic idea is to take the same processes that power the universe, which is fusion, and to recreate that in a laboratory setting here on Earth. The way the National Ignition Facility is going to create a star is we're going to take all of the energy that we have, which is 500 terawatts, that's more than is on the entire world's electric grid during the 20th billionths of a second that we actually have the laser pulse. And we're going to focus that into a very tiny volume. And what that does is it creates x-rays. It will create temperatures of 100 million degrees centigrade and pressures of 100 billion atmospheres, which is what you need in order to get hydrogen atoms to fuse together to form helium. And that releases energy. And it's essentially what Einstein told us, E equals mc squared, and when with these hydrogen atoms become helium atoms, there's a small mass change, and that small mass change, when converted into energy, results in a significant amount of energy. So the reason we're building the National Ignition Facility is we have three missions. We're going to harness that energy and use it for the benefit of our national security, for uh, enabling clean energy here on Earth, and for advancing frontier science. If we can achieve fusion here on Earth, I liken it a lot to the Wright Brothers plane. Everybody looks back now to the Wright Brothers plane as being what ushered in the era of flight. You know, I think in the future people will look back at this point in time and say the National Ignition Facility was when humanity mastered the powers that powers the universe, which is fusion energy.